Today I am joined by Chester Y. We're talking about a gala they have going on, but we also want to get into their history, and we couldn't do that alone, so we have Wheeler and we have Kathy joining us today. Thank you so much for joining us on set. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for inviting us. So Chester Y., the gala's coming up. Are we excited? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, sure. So can we give them the date real quick? The 21st of September. And it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. It's a, it's a weekend celebration to have some fun. Yes, at 5 o'clock. You can get your tickets now. We'll put the link at the bottom how they can get their tickets. Okay. But let's talk about the event itself. Kathy, what can they expect when they come to the gala? It's at the Ken Island Fire Department. Okay. And when you first come in with your ticket, you get two free drinks. And Chesapeake Celebrations is going to be doing our food. And they are going to have appetizers at the beginning. And then they're going to have a steak and crab cake dinner, which is phenomenal. And then um, the live auction starts, I think, a little after 8. They close down the, the silent auction, and then they start the live auction. And I hear that's where the real fun begins. Oh, it's fairly fun. <laughs> yeah. So you had me sold at Surf and Turf and Drinks. You already <laughs> had me buying the ticket, but I should bring some more money yes. for this auction. Yes. So tell, tell us a little bit about the auction. You guys have a lot of fun items sometimes. What, what are some things that people can expect? Well, they have the um, one of the best items, I think, at... Uh, Backyard Billy's has the glider, okay. a really nice glider. They do it every year. And Bike Doctor's giving me a bike. They usually give me a bike every year, and they're giving me one this year. And then we have a couple trips that are highlights, and we have fish and trip. With Tillman Helmsley on the, the, the Archangel out of Kentmore. Archangel, yeah. Okay. They you go, you out go out and watch the sun go down, drink wine. Doesn't get much better now. That's that. awesome. Yeah. Right. <laughs> don't, tell them, don't forget to tell them about the shotgun. Oh, the shotgun. Yeah. We have a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have a shotgun. You gotta have a shotgun. You're on the Eastern Shore. You gotta have a shotgun. Yeah, you don't. You don't have a shotgun. You're not the Eastern Shore. And I just want to shout out to all the people I've been over to see and bug about giving me money yeah. for giving me donations. Thank you all so much for everything you do. If it wasn't for the community, we wouldn't be doing this. Absolutely. They give her donations. Get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> they see me coming. Oh, God, there oh she comes. again. <laughs> Now, I hear there's another special item at the auction. There's a cake. Yes. So, Wheeler, could you tell us the history of this cake? Because it, it yeah. seems to have grown on its own no, to this big to. thing. Yeah. Well, we had our first auction. Like, like I didn't realize it was 45 years. It was 45 years ago. We had the Ken Allen Yacht Club. Uh -huh. So we're down there, and my brother-in-law and a couple of us were involved in this thing to get it going. But my father, my father-in-law, the president of the Queenstown Bank, the president of the Centerville Bank, did a whole a dozen of them sitting back in a corner, and they were partying. They didn't care about the auction. They didn't care. They didn't. They they were there to support it. Sure. But they were p playing poker. I don't know what the hell they were doing. But they, <laughs> they were back there having a good time. When you get close to the end of the auction, they hadn't spent any money. And they said, "Oh my God, we got to spend some money." And the only thing that was left was a black walnut cake that was cooked by Mrs. Florence Howard, old time gal, great woman. <laughs> Because she didn't have any money, that's all she could give us. Yeah. That was from the heart, you know. So they got this cake. So here comes the cake. $250. Send it back. $500. Send it back. I think the first time it brought like $2,000. That's amazing. The cake did. Well, and this is 45 years ago. Yeah. But then go fast forward a couple more years, it brought up to $10,000. That's amazing. But the allure kind of went away. Some of the old timers died and yeah. they, or moved away. and. And everybody wasn't familiar exactly what we were doing. So now we sell it by the slice. And when you walk through the door, it's going to be a local fellow by the name of uh, Jerry Pearson, a local plumber, great guy, <laughs> wonderful family. But when he walks up to you, he's going to give you a sticker. And that's going to cost you $100 for a slice of that cake. <laughs> and I have, I have a feeling he's going to be pushing it kind of hard, isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's the man. Yeah. So can, can we go back to that, that first year with the cake? Yeah. Do you remember her reaction? When she found out how much the cake made. Oh, she was she was amazed. That's crazy. I can't. She, even... she was just you know because shucks, hundred dollars was big was big money yeah. for for the poor people back in those days. Absolutely. So she was uh, very happy with what she'd done, and we carried the tradition on. That's really cool. Yeah. Now, is it top secret? Can we say who makes the cake now, Kathy? Can you, we can you, we divulge? We're gonna let we're gonna let it out of the bag. Okay. I make the cake now. <laughs> this is gonna be my third year making the cake. And I'm very excited about it, and I hope it's delicious. Yeah. I tried it. I is there a lot of pressure on heart. this? It is for me because yeah. I'm very particular about what I bake, and so it is a homemade cake with the black walnut. Yeah. And I do a cream cheese icing with a little bit of rum chata in the icing, 
So hopefully, it's worth at least a couple thousand. Oh, a slice. it's worth five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you hear That's that? Awesome. Five thousand. They, they, they'll be. They, they know now. They know the, the cat's out of the bag. Five thousand a slice. So I, I used to run. I ran sneak. Baker's Liquor for all the guys yes. watching this. I ran it for years, and I used to all get uh, prizes from uh, the local distributors. I hit I hit the beer boys pretty good. Yeah, they but always got good stuff. Got bicycles, everything you name. So this, the last year, I got my, my man after I sold out. I said, "You got to get me some." So he got me some, and I opened the box, and it was a three-foot bobblehead of Snoop Dogg, right? I said, what in the world am I going to do with this? I thought, well, I'll try. So I took him, I set him up by the bar. So everybody that went up to get something to drink had to see Snoop Dogg. And it bobbled his head, you know. Yeah. It, it, it was cute. Well, it came time to auction it off, and it, that place lit up like a 100-watt bulb. That's awesome. And he brought it, Mr. Snoop Dogg brought over $5,000. It was so cool. The auctioneer was standing up on a chair going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it's it it very, very lively. It was, that is awesome. It was cool. Yeah, it, was, it was gratifying. That was cool. I mean, I guess it's just maybe a testament that you never know what's going to be up for auction you just don't know. when you come to the event. You just and the don't. only way to find out yeah. is to buy that ticket yeah. and come. Yeah. So Wheeler, Chester Y, people might be hearing this for the first time. Could you introduce us to Chester Y? Tell us what it's about. Well... Chester Y came to be a uh, lady by the name of Bobby Ann Nash years ago. She had a son who was born with special needs. And there was a, and, and this is back in the 60s, and there was nowhere for him to go. There was nothing here. Like most Eastern Shore counties, they, they just weren't ready for that. Right. So she got together with Dr. Harry Rhodes, who was superintendent of schools at the time, and they put together this little center, just, just took two or three people. And, it's grown since then. Um, we now have, ooh, I think we take care of about 75 people. And we've got uh, other people, we've got about 100 people working for us. Yeah. We have 10 homes, two of which are under renovation at this time. But uh, we take care of people with special needs. Um, if their families can't take care of them and we, and we have a spot, we put them in our homes. Mm -hmm. And they're, most of them are, can take care of compl all their medical needs. We have people that stay with them, sometimes one, sometimes two to a house, sometimes more. Yeah. Uh, depending, on their, depending on their needs. So it's, uh, it's quite an operation. It uh, serves uh, people that can't help themselves. You know? I mean, all they want, I tell people, all they want to do is be like us, and they can't be. Right. So that we are their mother, father, the whole works. Yeah. Feed them, do it all. And you've been involved in this for a long time. Yeah, I've been involved. Dr. Rhodes pulled, got me on the board in 1979. And I, for a while there, I was on and off because I was doing other things. But here lately, um, for the last 10 years, I've been, been into it pretty good. Yeah. I know, Kathy, you're also heavily invested. Yes, I have a sister-in-law that lives at Chester Y. And my late husband, Earl Mark Dubell, he used to be on the board. And then when he passed, they asked me to join. So I've been on the board too. And um, I've been helping out with the auction the last couple of years. And I really enjoy doing that. Mm -hmm. And I love all of our clients. They're just wonderful people. And that's what I do. Yeah. And you have tons of clients, over 100 employees. It, it sounds like there's so much to this that... A lot of people probably just don't know about. Yeah. And you even invited us. Maybe we can come take a tour yeah, and I, really show off what this is all about. I told our late, uh, lady that does uh, development, I said, one of your jobs is to, to get our, the word of what we do out to the community. Because right. lots of people that are moving here, they just know the Western Shore. They know the bridge in the yeah, Western Shore. Yeah. They don't know what it, what's the part of the fabric of the community. And, and people need to know what we do. Mm -hmm. it, because, number one, um, we need money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't operate those things on your good looks, you know? Right. So Be nice, though. It, it would. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's definitely come out. We'll do an education piece. We'll, we'll tour. We'll get to see the facility and show what you really do. Yeah. But in the meantime, the Gala sounds like it's going to be an amazing time. 45 years. Congratulations on having an event be so long. That's great in the community. I can't wait to visit Chester Y and really get to see what makes you guys so wonderful for the community. And we'll, we'll show everyone else at home what they're missing. Yeah. But in the meantime... Go online, buy some tickets for the gala. You're going to have a great dinner, surf and turf. You're going to have a great chance to bid on so many amazing items. You're going to get to have a couple of drinks, get your dance on, and have a great time supporting our community. 
Wheeler, Kathy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. of course. Much appreciated. And of course. It's our pleasure. And I hope the event is better than ever, an amazing 45-year celebration. Thank you. We expect you down there in the next six months where we'll give you lunch down to the center. Accept it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>